Good morning, all my dear students of class three. So today we will continue with subtraction, and this time we are going to do the word problem in subtraction. So you can have your book, page number fifty-eight. You can look at your book for the reference. Okay, there are around eight sums. I will do two as an example for you. Rest you will do it as a homework. Okay, I will show you the sample how to do it. Then at home you can start do the rest of the question. I will teach you how to frame. Sentences: How to do the word problem? We cannot simply write the numbers and we cannot subtract it. We have, word problem means you have to write the statement also. This writing the statement is very very important in word problem. So today we will do that only. Okay, so now let's get started with the word problem, and I will teach you how to write the statement also. Okay, now look at the board, everyone. Here in the board it is written: A farm ha has Two thousand six hundred and ninety-five hens and chicks. How many hens and chicks are there? There are two thousand six hundred and ninety-five hens and chicks. Both. Okay. So one out of that, one thousand two hundred and forty-one of them are chicks. Out uh, out of this this much, this a uh, one thousand two hundred and forty-one are chicks. So the you are asked to find out how many hens are there in the farm. So there are one thousand two hundred and forty one chicks out of two thousand six hundred and ninety five. So you have to find out how many hens are there. So what you will do? We have to subtract and find out. Okay. So now how to write the statement? Now see you have you read the first line. What it is written here? A farm has two thousand six hundred and ninety five hens and chicks. So after writing solution, you have to write total number of hen and hens and Chicks. What is the total number? Yes, it's two thousand six hundred and ninety-five. Yes. So here you will write two thousand six hundred and ninety-five. Got it? So move on to the next now. One thousand two hundred and forty-one of them are chicks. So now the second statement will be total number of chicks. What is the total number of chicks, dear students? Yes, it is one thousand two hundred and forty-one. So here you will write one thousand two hundred and forty-one. Understood now? So what you are asked to find? What you you are asked to find? How many hens are there in the farm? So you have to find out how many hens are there. So so total number of hens in farm. What we have to do? We have to subtract two thousand six hundred and ninety-five. From one thousand two hundred and forty-one. Okay, so now what you'll do? You will subtract. Okay, so that day I taught you how to subtract. You always start subtracting from the ones place. You will keep the upper number in your mind. Yes, you will keep upper number in your mind and start counting after. Keep that number in your mind. Five is in your mind, and you will stop when five comes. So after one, what comes? Two. Three, four, and five. What is the number? Two, three, four, and five. How many fingers? Four fingers. So here we will write four. Then after that, move on to the next step. Keep nine in your mind and start counting after four. What comes after four? Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You have to stop with nine. How many fingers? Five. Yes. So now here you will write five. Then after that, you will keep six in your mind and start counting after two, three, four, five, six. You have to stop at six, so it is four. Then the last one, one minus two, you will keep two in your mind and after one, what comes? Two. So how many fingers? One. So, so what is the total? So the total number of hens in the farm is one thousand four hundred and fifty. Four. So your answer will be your answer will be one thousand four hundred and fifty four hens. So got it? So this will be this way. You will write your solution and you will do neatly in your notebook like this only as I have taught you in the board. Okay. So now let's move on to the next sum. 
Did you get it now? Did you all understand how to frame the sentence? So we will move on to the next example. I will teach you one example with carryover also. How to do subtraction in what problem with carryover. That day I taught you how to subtract with carryover. So one more sum I will do with carryover. So let's move on to the next sum. To another sum as an example. This is your question number 7 from your textbook. Okay. So here it is said Mr. Pandey has... 9,200 in the bank, he withdrew rupees 2,756. How much money is left in the bank? So here it is said that there was a man named Mr. Pandey. He had 9,200 rupees in the bank. He had 9,200 rupees in the bank. So out of this 9,200, he withdrew 2,756. So you are asked to find out how much money is left after withdrawing 2,756. So now let's get started. In the first, and I have already taught you how to frame the statement. The first line will be your first statement and the second one will be the second statement. And the last one will be the one which you are asked to find out. Okay. So in the first one, you will write total money with Mr. Pandey. What is the total money? Total amount of money? Yes, everyone tell me. Yes, it is rupees 9,200. Okay, it is rupees 9,200. Okay, then how many money? How, then second statement will be he withdrew rupees 2,756. Your second statement will, will be money he withdrew from bank. What is the total amount of money he withdrew from the bank? It is rupees... 2,756. So now you are asked to find out what is the total. So you have to find out so the money left in the bank. So you have to find out how much money is left in the bank. Okay. So what you will do? You will write 9,200 minus 2,756. Yes, you have to mine subtracted okay so here look at the board now this is zero there is zero so in the ones place there is six and there is zero can we sub no you have to what you have to do now you have to borrow you, you can you borrow from the tens place no there is also zero so you have to move on to the hundreds place you have to borrow one from the hundreds place so zero, here one will be left and this will become 10. Again from here you have to borrow to the ones place. So when you, when you take 1 from here on 9 will be left. And this will become this will become 10. So now what we'll do? You will keep 10 in your mind and start counting after 6. 7 8, 9 and 10. How many? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here you will write 4. So what is the next one? See here it is 9. What you will do? You will keep 9 in your mind and start counting after 5. 6, 7, 8 and 9. What is the number? Again 4. Okay. So we, we already borrowed 1 or we already borrowed from the hundreds place. So only 1 is left. So you cannot subtract 1 from 7. So what you have to do? You have to borrow from the thousand place. So when you borrow this will become when you borrow, this will become 8 and this will become 11. Then you will keep 11 in your mind and start counting after 7. 8, 9, 10 and 11. What is the number? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So it is 4. Then you will keep 8 in your mind and start counting after 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. What is the finger? What is the total number of fingers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is 6. So it is 6,444. That day I taught you the trick how to check the answers. Now what you'll do? 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, you got it. You are right. Then again 5 plus 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, it is 9. You got it. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, it is also 11. You're absolutely right till here. Now to move on to the last step. 
6 plus 2, 6, 7 and 8. Yes, your answer is absolutely right. This way you will not lose marks in subtraction as I said you in that, that day also. So, now what you write? Your answer will be, your answer will be rupees 6,444. What is the total amount of money left? So, the money left in the bank is Answer is 6,444. So I hope you got it now. This was clear to you. How you will subtract 0 also. Okay. When, when there is 0 in the 1's place, you will borrow from the 10's place. When there is 0 again in the 10's place, you will borrow from the 100's place. Okay. So now you got it. Now you will all do rest of your question as your homework. I hope you got the trick now. Now we will move on to the next chapter from your next lesson. So, till then, be a good student, obey your parents, follow your online classes and do not forget to learn multiplication table because next chapter is your multiplication and in multiplication you cannot do away with without learning multiplication table. So, okay. So, I hope you got the trick now. I hope you got understood all this word problem now. You will do rest of your sums in your notebook as a homework and when lockdown will get over you will come and check your notebooks so have a good day dear students be safe stay home see you all in the next class